Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel that is Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit. Today's topic is Acute Phase Protein. Before going into the detail of acute phase proteins, one should understand the meaning of acute phase response. So basically, acute phase response, it is a non-specific response to the stimulus of tissue following trauma, infection, inflammation and burn. And following trauma, infection, inflammation and burns, the body responds by initiating a series of mechanisms that leads to decrease in the concentration of many proteins. And these proteins are termed as a negative acute phase protein because there is a decrease in the concentration of that particular protein. And the example of negative acute phase proteins are First one is the albumin. Albumin is one of the important transport protein. It is helping in the transport of various substances like bilirubin, non-esterified fatty acid, various drugs, calcium and it is also important for the maintenance of colloidal osmotic pressure. Second negative acute phase protein is free albumin. Free al albumin is also helping in the transport of thyroxine as well as vitamin A. And the third one is the transferrin. Transferrin is the important, it is the important transport protein for the skin. These are the example of negative acute phase protein. There is also increase in the concentration of several specific proteins which occurs some hours after the injury. And these proteins are termed as a acute phase protein. Mind well, the concentration of this particular proteins will be increased after the injury. So that's why they are termed as a acute phase protein and the example of acute phase proteins are first one is the first one and which, which is the very important one that is the C reactive protein that we will see in the detail in the next slide. Second one is the celluloplasmin. It is important uh, transport protein for the copper ion. Third one is the alpha 1 antitrypsin. It is a protease inhibitor and if there is any deficiency of this alpha 1 antitrypsin then it leads to emphysema. Fourth one is the alpha-1 acid glycoprotein. This protein is required for the tissue repair. And the fifth one is the fibrinogen which is required for the blood clotting. And the sixth one and the last one is the heptoglobin. Heptoglobin is important for the binding to the hemoglobin and, and it prevents the hemoglobin loss in the urine. So these are the example of acute phase protein. The concentration of this protein will be increased after the injury. Now let's see the C-reactive protein in detail. C-reactive protein, it is, it names so because it reacts with the capsular polysaccharides of the cell wall of pneumococci. That's why it is named as a C-reactive protein. And this C-reactive protein is synthesized by the liver. It is involved in the body's, body's response to the for, foreign compounds. And its concentration will be increased whenever there is an inflammation or infection. And this C-reactive protein, it is a very important test to differentiate bacterial infection from the viral infection because the level of CRP will be increased only in the bacterial infection. So that is the C-reactive protein. And the one variant of C-reactive protein is the high sensitive C-reactive protein which is also used as a risk factor for the cardiovascular diseases. And this C-reactive protein, the normal level of C-reactive protein is, it is up to 6 mg per liter. And the method of detection of C-reactive protein is immunoturbidimetry. And another method for the detection of C-reactive protein is latex agglutination. So hope you have find this information useful. These are my references. Please like, share and subscribe Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit. Thank you.